Okay, feel free to. Feel free to come in. Ah, oh, just come to a wonderful sit, and we're starting off with 30 minutes of yoga. Welcome to yoga with Marcel and Sean. I'm Marcel, I'm your instructor, and I'm not alone here, but I'm Champa Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy, and motivation, and together we're teaching yoga every day. So, for 10 years. By the way, uh, so we're having 30 minutes of yoga, then 30 minutes of meditation. If you'd like to join in there, feel free to. I'm currently a little bit in a struggling situation, a little bit of reflective mood still. Um, I wanted to have longer lessons already, but I just don't manage at the moment. So I uh, give it a little bit more time. Uh, I hope we can start next week with the longer lessons again. Hey Jamie, how are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Uh, welcome in. And today we're going for a little bit of yoga. So, bring your arms up by your sides. How are you doing, Jamie? Bring your arms up by your side. Get along from your hips to the fingers. And then breathing out, release your arms by your sides down. And bring your arms up again. It just was in the forest and the time just went so quick, you know. Uh, like one and a half hour passed so quick. I was thinking like, yeah, you know what? I'm going into forest and I'm coming back then I'm doing something else and everything. But uh, I kind of like came back right away. And uh, now I'm already here on the mat doing a little bit of yoga with you guys. So bring your arms up by your sides. Get long from your hips to the fingers. Spread your fingers. And then release your arms down by your sides. Bring the hands to your thighs and start to move your hands forward and backward. Feel how you are hands feeling on your thighs. Feel how your thighs are feeling today. Good. Feel what's going on in your body. I'm okay. I had a weird dream which was has left me feeling a bit strange but fine otherwise. Okay. Let's see. I'm glad you're feeling better I guess. A little. Right, and then bring your shoulders forward, then upward, backward and down, and again forward, upward, backward and down. How does that feel? Oh, I'm doing good, Jimmy. It's just a reflective time that is very much necessary to enable growth. So that's all right. I don't don't need any kind of like uh, help here or anything, right? I need to get through it on my own. So yeah, it's just beautiful as it is, right? It's beautiful reflective time for me. And also like a beautiful de depressive mood in one way. It really teaches me a lot, you know, it really teaches me a lot. So I'm very excited and happy also to go through. So it's like mixed emotions there always. And I'm very emotional at the moment as well. So bring your hands together, interlace the fingers and circle your wrist. But I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. It really teaches me a lot. Circling your wrists here. How do your elbows feel? How do your shoulders feel? From there, release your arms, your elbows, your shoulders. Hey, Superhero Fitness, good morning to you, my friend. For me, it's already uh, like uh, late, 6 p.m. Welcome in, dear friend. Thanks you so much for showing up for the stream. Big shout out to you. Jamie, can you give a little bit of a small shout out to Mr. Superhero Fitness? I think Derek is his name. He's doing wonderful stretching, wonderful stretches, wonderful uh, also yoga, I think. And also has a wonderful YouTube channel. I already checked it out a little bit. And a wonderful studio uh, there, or Jim, you're, you're working out. That's my name and thank you. Awesome. So we're doing just 30 minutes of yoga here, nice and easy. 
Bring your hands together again, bring your other thumb in front and circle your wrist again. Try to circle it in the other direction, being playful there. And we are doing 30 minutes of uh, yoga here and then 30 minutes of meditation. Usually we are doing uh, two hours. So one hour of yoga, then a little bit of um, mantra singing, pranayama, so breathing technique and then meditation. But um, I'm not feeling too well, like emotional. And I thought like uh, I need to step it a little bit down still. I wanted to step it up this week already, but uh, I just can't. And then shake your wrists out, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. And just before I was in a wonderful forest, just walking a little bit, it was just amazing. You know, yesterday I said in the yoga lesson, right, like, hey, everybody, <laughs> you know, you can also go walking, you know, walking is so great. And I thought about myself like, hey, I'm not really going that much walking. So bring your hands forward, <laughs> fingers are vertical, and then bring your thumb up and then thumb in. But I really believe walking is great, you know, walking is just amazing, especially if you can go in a forest. It's cold outside. I hate walking when it's cold. Marku, yeah, I, I just packed myself in, in like... Uh, uh, big, big uh, trousers, big, you know, everything big, <laughs> closed it. Oh, my fingers still are very, very cold, but hey, that's how it is. Yeah. So welcome in, Marku. Welcome in. My name is Marcel. Good to, good to meet you here. Bring your thumbs up and then thumb in and circle your thumbs forward. I actually went for a walk before this because I'm feeling the same emotionally, a bit weird inside today, which is also why I came to sit with you a bit. Awesome. And then circle your thumb to the other direction. So there's not really a forward direction. There's not really a backward direction. So listen in here, good. How do your arms move as you're doing that? How does your left arm move compared to your right arm? How does your right arm move compared to your left arm? As we're just doing the thumb circles. Then shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders. Good. Welcome into this sit, uh, Superhero Fitness. By the way, everybody, if you're new in here, I'm teaching yoga every day. So this is day 441. And uh, we're going for 10 years. And yeah, feel free to join in on the right. If you have any questions about yoga, let me know. Uh, try to answer to the best of my abilities, right? If I can't answer, give me some time and I'll try to find out all about it. And bring your hands up again and make fists. Move your wrists up and down. Again, our fingers are still vertical. Make fists and move your wrists up and down. Good job. How does that feel? Now bring your right thumb up, turn it to the outside. Fingers are pointing down now. From below, grab on with your other hand to your thumb and pushing out at the thumb mount here. You want to feel a stretch here at the thumb mount, pushing out with your shoulders. Fingers are pointing down. This is super great if you're kind of like a little bit a gamer, right? And you want to stretch your arms a little bit. These lessons here. I'm also doing a little bit the same warm up in the beginning, usually. Shake your wrists out to your elbows and to the other side. Bring your thumb up, turn it to the outside, fingers are pointing down, grab on from below and push up from the shoulders. Thank you for sharing by the way, Derek, I appreciate if, you know, everybody shares a little bit how they are feeling. By the way, Marku, welcome in. I appreciate you being here and chatting. How are you feeling today? And then release, shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders. And we start leaning to the right, bring your right arm to your right side. And in whatever kind of sit you are, you can also sit up in a chair at the moment. We're leaning to the right, engage your belly a little bit. Your head is a little bit tucked in, your chin a little bit tucked in, good. You're leaning to the right, you can bring your arm up and lean over. Keep your left sitting bone connected to the floor, to a book, for example, or to a sitting pillow. Good. And then release other side, breathing out and breathing in. Reach for the other side. And change the side. Yeah, and Derek, how was your superhero training? Uh, it's super cool what you're doing with like uh, the kids. I, think, I don't know how old they are, but you said something like superhero training with kids. It sounds amazing. 
may, maybe you didn't say that exactly, exactly that phrase, but somewhere in between, you know, the meaning, the meaning stays kind of like there. Good. And from there, <sighs> take a deep breath in, belly, and into your chest. And we're going to stand up together slowly, slowly standing up together. So no need to hurry, no need to hurry, really listening how you're standing up. Every kind of like move you're doing, every kind of, if I put my leg up here, that's one move here. Okay, and what kind of muscles are you using there? Do you shift your weight somewhere or do you stay where you are? Listening to all of that and really observing a lot. Good. It's a lot of awareness. Yoga has awareness and that's what I want to teach you guys. To move with a lot of awareness through the yoga lesson. Wonderful. So shake your legs out, shake your arms. And from there, we start to jump out of the knees. So bring your feet hip width apart and just start to jump out of the knees. Very much an underrated exercise here. And it's so easy to do. You know, it's so easy to do. You just release the shoulders and the neck and let the shoulders and the neck jump as we're jumping out of the knees. And if there's any kind of pain coming up, listen to that pain and come out of it, honoring that pain and just wait for us and maybe try another day again and maybe then the pain isn't there. But if there's pain, listen to that pain. Look at that pain as a teacher. And if you like to intensify, if there's no pain, you can jump out of the heels and absorb the hit with your knees. And again, release your shoulders and your neck a lot. Just stomping the ground, stomping the ground. Release your neck and your shoulders. Feel what kind of muscles are engaging and balancing, what kind of muscles are you use, using and release all the other muscles that you're not using right now. Release them even more. Good. From there you can jump out of the toes. Reconnecting with the toes and the heels to the floor, really stomping the ground. First the toes come to the floor, then the heels and then we absorb the hip with your knees and really stomp the ground, release your shoulders and your neck a lot, a lot. So the teacher that taught me this has said that he was jumping like that with his teacher like for 30 minutes and it really does something to you. I also tried it out once and it really starts to get you into your body more and more, but we won't do that right now. So just come back. Shake your legs out, shake your arms. <sighs> I teach, teach fifth, five to fifth, 14 year olds primarily. They are just starting to be able to be out of the house. So we are doing a lot of listening to their needs, which is adventure currently. Awesome. That's so amazing. That's so, so great, you know. Definitely go check out Superhero Fitness. Give them a follow and check him out if you can. <sighs> How does your body feel today? What do you need, you know? What do you need? Listening to that. Ah. And what, so I'm also investigating like my, on myself as I'm telling you that, right? I'm also investigating that to myself. What do I need, you know? What do I need? Kind of like trying to figure it out. Do I need to do some sun salutations or do I need to do some stretching, some length, some twists maybe. Well, what do you want to do? Hmm. You know, I, I like to do, yeah, I, I know what I like to do. I like to do some twist and lengthening a little. So let's come, let's come to the front of the mat here. And we're coming into a chair pose. So you bring our arms over your head, push your butt to the back, keep your knees over your heels. <clears throat> That's how I learned chair poses, chair pose. There are different variations of chair pose, just that you're, um, that you are like <laughs> knowing that. 
If you didn't know that, there are different variations of how people are teaching chair pose. So shifting your butt to the back, get long from your butt to the fingers and keep your knees over your heels. Good. And from there, breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest one time. Get long, long, long from the butt to the fingers and then bring your hands together in front of your heart. Now what you want to do is we're twisting. We're twisting to one side and bringing the elbow that is close to your knee to the knee and pushing into your arm. Now I, I need to go in again a little bit because I just want to turn a little bit more. Good. And from there, what you want to do is check with your knees. Are they on the same level or are they like shifted? If they are shifted, bring them back so that they are like in one line to the front of the mat. Good. Push into from the front arm, so push in the upper arm, into your lower arm, into your knee and twist here. Push your butt to the back, keep your knees in line together. Good. And look up into the sky. From here, we shift all the way slowly to the standing leg, to the leg where we have the hands over it, kind of. And then we're stepping back with your other leg. Good. And if you fall out of it, laugh about it. If you fall out of it, you're doing just fine. Good. And from here, draw the feet together. Bring, straighten your back leg and whoop. If you fall out of it, come in again. Oop. <laughs> I haven't done this exercise in a long time. Draw the feet together. Find a position that feels good to you. Keep your front knee over the front heel and we're also looking up into the sky. Good. And slowly bring your left hand up down to the floor or your other hand or the hand that is close to your knee. I should have. You know, I should have. To, um, Teach it with like sides, with the correct sides. Like this is just difficult. And opening up your arm up to the sky. Looking up into the sky, keeping your knee over your heel. And then we straighten our front leg. Bring your hand between our legs through. Looking to your back leg and opening up again. Your front knee comes again over your front heel. And we're opening up again. And again. Bring your hand through the legs through and opening up again. I'm doing this two more times. Your time. Breathing in as you're opening up. Breathing out. So you bring your hand through. Oh, good. Bring your hands down to the floor. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Your fingers are pointing forward. Step back. With your front leg, we're coming into downward facing dog, push into the mounts of the fingers. Walk with your heels up and down a little. How does your downward facing dog feel? How does your right leg feel compared compare to your left leg? Look between your wrists and start to walk forward and up. Bend. And we're standing up with a straight back. Bring your arms up into the sky. Good. Slide back, bend here, engage your belly and release. Good. Shake your legs out. Check in how both sides feel of your body right now. And we're changing the sides, of course. We have, of course, two sides to do. Let's come to the front of the mat again. Bring your hands up. And chair pose. Sit back. Bring your butt to the back. Keep your knees over your heels. Good job. Get long. And from there, bring your hands in front of your heart together. And we're twisting to the other side. Good. For me, it's the left side. Twisting to the left side. Keep your knees in line. I haven't done that much twists, twists lately, so <laughs> they are very, very deep for me. And again, keep your knees in line. Good job. How does that feel? And don't overdo it, you know? Listening. If it's too much, and it's too much, then don't do it. Good. 
from here again we're opening up with our chest to the to the sky if you can we're looking up into the sky keep your knees in line as good as you can <laughs> and then we're shifting all the weight over the hands over the the knee with the hands then slowly we're stepping back whoop We're drawing the feet together and our back leg is straight. Good job. And again, we're twisting a little bit more by pressing into the upper arm. Good. And again, you can also look up into the sky. Yeah. How does this side feel compared to your other side? Does this side feel different? And then release your arm down. We're opening up with our arm here. Again, if you fall out at any point in time, laugh about it. Straighten your front le leg, bring your hand between your legs through, look to your back leg and opening up again. Good job. Breathing in, opening up. Breathing out, hand between your legs and opening up again. How much time do we have left even? Go in your rhythm. It feels good to you. And bring your hands to the ground. Fingers, our index fingers are pointing forward, pushing to the mounds of the fingers. Step back with your front leg. Downward facing dog. We're pushing the butt into the sky. Our arms are really pushing into the ground. The mounds of the fingers are connected with your mat. And start to walk with your heels up and down. Woohoo! How does that feel? How do your legs feel? What else you want to watch out of, out for, is that we don't go into hyperflexibility at your shoulders. So keep your chest up a little. Good job. Release your knees down. Bring your knees to the sides. Big toes together. Yeah, we have eight minutes. That's good. So knees to the sides of the mat. Big toes together. And we're shifting ourselves forward and down. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. Make sure you don't have any kind of waist restriction going on like a belt. So if you have a belt on, loosen that belt, come up quickly, loosen that belt and then come down. From there, breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest. Wonderful. Slowly come up. Bring your knees a little bit together. And then bring your hands forward. Ah, let's keep our hips over your heels together here. So hips over heels, hips over heels. Uh, sorry, hips over knees. <laughs> Not hips over heels. Hips over knees, hips over knees. We're coming to our fingertips and we're walking forward with our fingers. Good. When, again, we're not going into hyperflexibility, but we keep our belly and your chest engaged. Reach forward as far as you can. Good. Now you want to find more space in your lower spine, so the lower spine can hang through. So the lower spine arches. Good. Breathing in deep. Feel your energy. And slowly come up. Whoop. Sit back over your heels. Shake your arms out. How does your body feel? And again, yeah, yeah, we're already coming a little bit to maybe some more stretches. Let's stand up one more time in your way, in your favorite way. So observe how you're standing up. Your special way of standing up, maybe. So. Really see every kind of move. You're, 
you're taking to stand up. Every kind of muscle you're engaging. Stand up. It's every, every time a new adventure of like, how, how do I stand up, you know? What next step do I take? Celsius avatar name is so high low? Yeah. Oh, Celsius in there. Hi, Celsius, by the way, if you're in here. Shake your arms, shake your legs out. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember where we wanted to go. Bring your left leg forward, bring your right leg to the back. We're bending our back leg a little bit. From there, hinge at your hips, get long from your hips to your head. We're just breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Feel a stretch through your hamstring here. Again, this is a beginner yoga lesson. And this, this very stretch here is accessible for everybody very, very easily. That's why I'm teaching it, right? Push your butt to the back. Get long from your butt to your head. Bend your back leg. Great job. Your front knee is a little bit engaged. So we're not pushing the knee through, but we keep it a little bit engaged. Good job. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And as you're breathing out, maybe, just maybe, release a little bit more down. And then come up. Let's do the other side. Shake your legs out. Bring your right leg forward, your left leg to the back. Bend your back leg. From there, get again long from your hips to your head. And we're hinging forward at your hips. Good job. Your front leg is long, engaged at your knee again. Feel a stretch at your hamstring here. Good job. And breathing out, maybe sinking a little bit more down. Breathing in. Get long from your hips to your head. You can test if your spine is long by bringing one hand to your lower back and feeling if the vertebras are pushing out at your lower back. If they are pushing out, you will feel the vertebras pushing out. You can also test that by leaning forward and rounding your whole back and feeling the vertebras pushing out. Good. If you did that, come up again. And one more time, stretch. Hamstrings, a straight back. Good. Release. Shake your legs out. Doing amazing. Bring your legs by your sides. It's one stretch that I really, really started to love doing. Your second toes. And there are different ways of teaching the alignment of the feet as well. A lot of teachers are doing this differently. So I do it with like the second toes and the ankles. So draw a line from the second toe to your kind of like heel or ankle and draw these two lines parallel. So draw these two lines parallel, then your feet are correctly aligned. And now the position as well, make sure they are below your wrist. So approximately, just approximately. Good. And from there, push your butt to the back, keep your knees engaged, keep your thighs engaged. And we slowly round down with your whole back rounded. If you hold back around it, good. How does that feel? Where can you arrive? Where are you? Just honoring where you are. And maybe just taking a, a snapshot in the mind because with time and time you will see differences, right? And we want to also honor like our process of where we are right now and where we will be in the future, right? When we are looking back. So, Let's come to our right leg and we're slowly wandering over. Keep your thighs engaged, keep your knees engaged. And we're going to your right leg, saying hello to your right toes. How are they doing? How are you doing, little pinky toe? How are you doing, big toe? How are you doing, foot, if you can get there? And then come back into the middle. Again, we're still pushing our butt out. Butt out, out, out. And we're going to your left toes, saying hello to your left toes, pinky toe to the big toe to your whole foot and then come back into the middle. From there bend your knees just a little tiny bit, bring one hand up to your thigh, the other hand and start to step in left, right, left. Good job. Shake your legs out, shake your arms out and let's come to the front of the mat. Slowly sit down. How are you sitting down? And we'll roll to the back. Roll to the back, rock back and forth just for a moment. Good. 
Whoop. Almost finished. Just going a little bit over time, I guess. And from there, yeah, from there, extend your legs, feet are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your sides, palms are pointing up, feet are facing away from each other, tuck your chin in a little bit and close your eyes, coming into Shavasana. In Shavasana, you just want to be, just be, don't need to think, don't need to feel anything, but just be in this moment. It's one of the hardest poses. As you always are, also see that a lot of people struggle with it. A lot of people want to not do this position in the end of yoga lessons, for example. But I know you, my students, are doing that, of course, because you are super amazing. Just be, I will get you back out of this position in just 30 seconds. <clears throat> closed. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. Whenever you're ready, draw your knees in towards your belly and shift yourself to either the left or the right side to come and lie down on your side body. Either to the left or the right side, lie down on your side body. Make it comfortable for yourself, the side body position. And then soften the skin of the face. Release all the tension in your neck, in your jaw, in your tongue, in your shoulders. Oh, oh, the shoulders, <laughs> the arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, the chest, the belly, the hips, your whole spine, your whole back, your legs, your knees, your ankles, your heels, your toes. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And breathing out, feel how the gravity is carrying you. The gravity of the earth is carrying you. With your next breath in, Lift yourself up by your side and come into a final sitting position. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Whenever you arrive in this sitting position, bring your hands in front of the heart together. No need to hurry. Honoring, honoring your yoga practice. Bow your head in front of your heart. Namaste. I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are, or a beautiful morning, a beautiful evening, beautiful noon, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. Lots of love to you. We're not finished right now, but we're going further with a little bit of meditation, if you like to join in there. Release your arms down and open your eyes again. Hey, welcome in. Hi, welcome in Norbski. How are you doing? I know you. I know that you're doing podcasts. 
welcome in. I'm also doing podcast. The next podcast will be up on um, Sunday. So big shout out to you. Uh, on, on Sunday, we're doing podcast here live on Twitch. And yeah. Oh, thank you, Jamie. You are amazing and beautiful inside and out. It is an honor to know you. Thank you so much, Jamie. And by the way, we're also, um, I'm very, very proud and, and amazed by the community. We had a wonderful uh, man circle together last uh, Saturday. Um, and I'm so excited to uh, create another one uh, in a week of time. So a little bit more than a week right now. On the 27th, you have another uh, men's uh, circle. And uh, that's pr completely confidential, com completely private. And if you'd like to join in there, feel free to do that. Of course, uh, every, every guy in here, every man in here. And man star, you know, everybody that feels like a man uh, can come in there. So yeah. Dear friends, Norbski, how are you doing? So good to have you. So good to have you. I appreciate you coming in, in and saying hi. Uh, please go and check her out. She's doing talk shows and podcasts. Also, so podcasts. I, I saw you doing podcasts, but I never really felt like, inter felt like okay, I want to interrupt or anything. So I never really sp spoke up. So I was sometimes at your channels checking in. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. I appreciate that. You know, sometimes uh, it's, it would be just good to say, just go into a channel and say, hi, I need to do that a little bit more often. And sometimes I just go into somebody's Twitch and I was like, huh, okay, uh, he's now speaking French. I don't really want to interrupt what he's doing, you know? <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so thank you for the shout out, Jamie. Thank you. Ah, good. We are going a little bit further. Normally we're doing, um, so I need to tell you that uh, currently it's a little bit difficult for me uh, to teach uh, because I'm very, very much emotionally uh, kind of like aggravated. Is that the right word? Uh, emotionally disturbed. I don't know. I'm just like very emotional at the moment. So I kind of reduced the yoga lessons for this week at least. Uh, again, I plan to do uh, already a longer Longer, longer yoga lessons, but they are just a little bit too intense for me at the moment. So I decided to cut it a little bit down. So we're going for 25 minutes of meditation and five minutes of Shavasana right now. Usually we're doing mantra singing, then we're doing uh, breathing technique, and then we're doing meditation. So yeah, it's a little bit more usually, but at the moment we, I need to cut it down to uh, care a little bit more about myself. And, you know, I also like to teach that to you that you need to take care of yourself because if I'm not doing that, right, uh, then it's kind of like uh, overgoing, like uh, not, not, not uh, teaching what I, not doing what I preach, kind of like that, you know. I want to stay in one way authentic and, and to that what I preach, right? If, I, if I'm saying like, hey, take care of yourself, and I'm not doing that myself, it's kind of like counterproductive. It's not really real, you know? So I really want to stay real here. Good. So we're going for some, a little bit of meditation. It's like not really guided, you will see. It's not really guided because I'm not saying all the time something. You're kind of like on your own in between uh, because I, I guide you in it, guide you into it, but then you decide for how long you stay. I'm, I'm just doing it for 25 minutes and then five minutes of lying down. If you like to come with me on that journey, you're very much invited. If you want to go out after two or three, five minutes, after 10 minutes, after whenever you feel like it's time, for you to come out and please do, do, please do so and lie down on the floor. Now we're doing meditation together um, uh, since a long time already here and yeah like this at least people like they can read on the right side what we are up to right here so uh, if anybody comes in he can check what we're doing here and right now let's begin.
let's begin. If you're in here, want to join, come to a wonderful sit. A wonderful sit that feels comfortable to you. At any point in time, if you like to change your sitting position, please feel free to do so and make it comfortable again. Good. And from there, sit up tall. And without changing, without changing your breath, start to observe your inhale, start to observe your exhale. And every time you're losing the connection with your breath, every time you lose the connection with your breath, observe your thoughts. Check in what kind of thoughts you have and let go of your thoughts softly effortlessly coming back to focusing on your breath. Focusing on your inhale and your exhale. Maybe feeling that the air that is coming in is slightly a bit colder than the air that is going out. all what we're doing and I will be quiet in just a moment before that I wanted to say you that this whole thing is a practice so if you're losing the connection to your breath all the time you're always in your thought thought thoughts then that's all right if you're only connected to your fo focus uh, or if you're only connected to your breath then that's all right if you're somewhere in between that's all right it's your practice wherever you are it's not better or worse so don't judge yourself doing just fine wherever you are right now We'll be quiet now. We'll see each other in about 20 to 25 minutes.
Equally. One more time. Connect to your breath. Connect to your inhale. Connect to your exhale. And then release and come and lie down on the floor. Lie down on the floor. Feet are facing away from each other. Arms are lying by your sides. Palms are pointing up towards the sky. Tuck your chin a little bit in. And just be, again, feet are facing away from each other. Arms are lying by your sides. Palms are pointing up. Tuck your chin a little bit in. Have your eyes closed. And just be. For around five minutes, just be. Don't focus on your breath anymore, just be. And slowly start to move your fingers, start to move your toes, coming slowly back to your body. Feel how you start to, start to move your arms, your legs, and if you like to yawn, yawn. <sighs> move your hips and shift yourself to one side and slowly come up. Hmm. Ah. So 
Well, how you do? How you do? Free people watching, you welcome you guys. Welcome in. How are you doing? Appreciate you. Appreciate you. So my name is Marcel. I'm here uh, teaching yoga every day. Um, yeah. I'm not alone here, but I'm joined by Sean. Sean is a little dragon. He's here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. I'm here for the instructions, the questions, and the support. Currently, we're on day 441 of 10 years. So feel free to check in from time to time here because we're on a 10-year challenge and we are teaching everyday yoga. So feel free to come in and say hi again and again. <laughs> For, for the reminder of like uh, uh, eight, eight and a half years, kind of a little bit more than a half years. <laughs> so dear friends, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the yoga lesson today. I hope you feel great. Um, a lot of love and blessings out to you. Hope you're doing great. If you have anything you'd like to talk about, feel free to join the Discord. We have a podcast coming up this Sunday. Uh, here on Twitch live, um, if you want to review my YouTube channels, you can do so. I've got a, the VOD channel where I have, have uploaded all these 440 uh, videos. So if you like to check them out, feel free to do that. Other than that, we have also dedicated yoga videos. If you like to join into yoga and you have never done yoga, feel like maybe a little bit overwhelmed. I have like day one to day seven, they only last 10 minutes and are very great for beginners. So if you like to check them out in the description below, there's like day two written, I think, and feel free to click on that and then you will be linked to the YouTube. Other than that, um, yeah, well, check, check out our Discord, join our community on Discord. And we are currently also having a man, po a man circle, a man circle that is uh, set up by me, that is uh, led by me. And I'm the next men's circle will be on the 27th. Um, if you're interested in that, just join the Discord. I will send you out informations there. There's not a channel right now set up for the men men's circle, but there will be one very very soon. And then um, this will also be very very much private and and um, uh, not done on Twitch, because there we really need to have a safe space. Meanwhile, here, this is your yoga lesson every day, right? So, dear friends, we are heading over to another wonderful streamer. Let's see who is online and let's share some love. We are always raiding with love here. If you're new in here, welcome. Also, thank you so much for coming by. Everybody who came by, Mark who came by, I think. And then, um, yeah, a lot of people came by. Um, Norbski came by. Uh, Jamie is here. Uh, so many people can buy. Why is the chat here? Is the chat superhero fitness can buy? Big shout out to superhero fitness again. He's wonderful. And um, Yigi Do is maybe still here. And um, yeah, let's see if we can raid. Let me let me quickly check, Jamie. Let me qu quickly check who else is online, just to make sure. You know, me. Yeah, we could go head over to. Could also get over to Isa or to Celci. Yeah, let's let's head over to Yoga with Chen, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Let's head over with to Yoga with Chen. We're going to rate the others another day. Uh, but not right now, let's say let's say we we check mark we put a check mark at yoga with Chen, right? And with that said, dear friends, have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope to see you very very soon again. Bye bye. See you soon. See you very soon. And the rain.